welcome back guys so in this video let us see how to install chrome s flex by downloading the recovery image so let's get started so first we will visit this website and uh, using the drop down menu you can choose the chrome s flex and then we will download the latest version available so the higher number and it's going to download the recovery image for the chrome s flex uh, unlike uh, windows it's going to be dot bin image but it's going to work similar and we need to use the Rufus program to create the bootable image. So the download has finished and we can proceed to install it in the USB drive. So open the Rufus application and we need to use our pen drive so 8GB or above. Now we need to select the installer the recovery image. So in choose the, the file that we downloaded and uh, the partition scheme should be fixed already we cannot change that and now we can start the process of creating the bootable image and also make sure your secure boot is disabled from the BIOS menu now while restarting use the boot menu key to boot into the boot device options and then select your pen drive and after a while you will see the chrome os logo the chrome os flex logo actually and now we can start the setup process so just the normal settings and here we can uh, we need to install it trying it out you can just do that to test it a while but we will install it in this video and this will delete everything on your hard drive the entire hard drive so if you have 1TB hard drive, the 1TB will be deleted. So make sure you proceed with this information. So now it is installed and we can manually shut down. And we need to remove the pen drive from the system and start it again. And we have to set it up again. So the language and everything. I'm going to do that and fast forward. So I have added my Google account and set it up and I, there was also an update and it updates automatically in the foreground and you just need to update uh, like restart it once. So you do not have to wait for it like the windows and I also have the Linux op options. I'm going to test it out later and while most of the features are quite similar the last time I tried it but it feels much faster and stable. Uh, it is still in the developer uh, like in the developer preview so it's not even beta yet i will test it out and uh, will come up with a full review very soon because i'm using it as my primary operating system right now so yeah that was it for this video i hope you like this one and i'll see you in the next one